Well, at virtual CES this year, I stopped by the ViewSonic booth during the Pepcom Digital Experience event. And I saw a lot of really cool stuff. And I mentioned to the representative that ViewSonic isn't a brand I hear mentioned often in Mac circles. And I, I found that kind of surprising given the numerous cool displays they were showing off at CES. So I've asked Ray Hedrick, product marketing specialist at ViewSonic, to join us today to talk about some of the cool products I got to CES. I got to see at CES. So welcome to the show, Ray. Thank you, Allison. Thank you for having me. Yeah, um, to your point, uh, you know, I, I don't. A lot of Mac users may not know that ViewSonic makes some really, really cool solutions that work really well for for Apple. So I, I really love the uh, the opportunity to get to talk about these. Yeah, for some reason we talk about LG and we talk about maybe HP and of course you know dream about the Apple monitor, but that's pretty much where the conversation stops. And maybe I run in the wrong circles, but uh, I wanted to hear more about the the cool stuff. So what are the, what are the top things you would uh, want to tell us about that would be relatable to the Mac community? Right. Yeah. So one of the big pushes that we've had in 2020, and actually we, we have a whole campaign running around this in, in, during Q4 of 2020, uh, was an awareness campaign about USB-C and uh, the way that we implement USB-C on our monitors. So it's such a complicated thing. From a marketing standpoint, um, the, the entire rollout of USB-C and Thunderbolt and the connectors, <laughs> I mean, all of that has just been kind of a nightmare for the last several years. But um, Apple made a very smart choice back in 2016 to standardize on that as their input output for their MacBooks. And you know, depending on what model, you've got anywhere from one to four of them. And they support full display port, audio, video, USB-C connectivity, and that's their charging source. So when we look at USB-C on our monitors, we have only really implemented what we believe is the highest level of support that you would want on your monitor. So they all will support full uncompressed display port and audio. They all support um, USB-C transfer from the ports that are on the monitor. So if you have a keyboard and mouse, you connect them to the monitor, and then there's just one cable running to your Mac, so that when you come and go, you just connect it. That's all you have. Um, but then the important- So it's essentially a dock on top of being a monitor. Yes, yeah, exactly. And a lot of the monitors on the market will do all of that, but then they leave out the USB-C power delivery standard. So they don't do the charging side of it. They will do maybe 10 to 15 watts of USB-C. Uh, we only will use 60 to 90. So we 60 charge- 60 to 90? Yeah. 60 to 90 watts is what we we implement on all of our USB-Cs. Even on our portable monitor, we co it comes with a 60 watt wall adapter. <laughs> you plug that in and it'll charge your MacBook just with that one plug. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm a 16 inch MacBook Pro user. So that 90 watts is singing to me. When you say 60 to 90, do you mean they all have 60 to 90 or they have 60 or 90? 60 or 90. So depending okay. on the model, some of them are 60 watt ones. The other ones are 90 watt ones, yeah. Okay. Oh, I like that. You know, the portable USB-C monitor thing is really taking off right now. Uh, yes. I've got a, a little one that's probably not the highest quality one you could buy, sure. it. But, it, but it solves a real problem for me when I just need another display. I need a little bit more space and I can keep it in my drawer and take it out or throw it in a laptop bag. So I, that's cool that you've got those. I definitely want to hear about what you have there. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I'm sorry. No, these are not Thunderbolt displays, just to be clear, right? Correct. We are looking at, so one of the things that we showed at CES this year um, was our concept and what will become a product later in the year of our 8K monitor. And that is our VP3286-8K. Uh, That's a 32-inch crazy IPS 8K monitor, and that will be a Thunderbolt display. So um, oh, that wow. is a new entrant to us. We have not had Thunderbolt displays, but we will be bringing uh, at least one to market this year. 8K. 8K. Yes, I need 8K now. <laughs> we all do. I mean, and, and, and what we're finding is, is that um, even if you're kicking out 4K content, you're often authoring video content in 6 to 12K. So having an 8K monitor for both video and photography purposes is a really useful use case for customers because even when you kick it out at a lower resolution, you work at that high resolution. Okay. So the, the AK monitor, uh, I'm looking at your press kit at the same time. It says available summer 2021 with an estimated street price of $5,000. Does it come with a stand for $5,000? It absolutely will come with a beautiful ergonomic stand for those $5,000. <laughs> 
Now, what I'm going to want to know is where is the top of the display? Because I'm actually looking at the uh, at the Apple Pro Display XDR right now, and the top of the display is four and a half inches above eye level, which is not ergonomic. Yeah. Um, so th this one, um, we don't have the final specs on the adjustment, but it, it typically has five to six inches of up and down adjustment. So okay. um, you can actually get it to hunker down pretty low if you need to. Good, good. This one goes up. It's the down it doesn't do. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because so they went with a double hinge design. So it's sort of where it mounts to the stand. You can't go much down from there. So ours does not do that. It's the more traditional. It floats along the, the back of the stand. So you got okay. an okay. adjustment. Okay. Plus 8K, not just that stinking Plus 6K. 8K. Plus nonsense. Thunderbolt and uh, full Adobe RGB. It comes factory calibrated because, of course, this is a professional photo monitor. It has to. But actually, one of the really cool things about that monitor is that it comes with a little puck that is a controller for the UI. You know, Mac users, Apple users, very important UI. And we, we focus on that. So it's a very easy to navigate through the menu in the monitor. Uh, if you need to, but also that little puck is a screen calibrator. So you put it on your screen, you calibrate it. You can do it every day, once a month, six months, whatever you want, but it comes with its screen calibrator. Oh, that's really slick. Okay. So if we get away from the, the monitors that most people don't need or, and can't afford, but right. we, love, we all love to learn about and dream about them. Um, wh what are other monitors that you consider great for Mac users? So if they're looking at, um, if your users are looking at monitors like right now, uh, we've got a lot of solutions, especially for work from home. So um, we've got some in what we call our VX lineup. Those are more our premium look and feel monitors. Um, if I can throw out a, a part number, uh, I would throw out uh, VX 2785-2K. Um, that is a 2K monitor, a 2560 by 1440, 27 inch USB-C with power delivery. Um, and we've used it with MacBooks here in the office and it makes a real slick one cable, you know, plug it in, it charges your MacBook. It's a nice 27 inch uh, display to work on and it's an IPS screen that's full eight bit. So the, the color quality is actually really, really up to the standards of, of a Mac user. Okay, what, what's, the, uh, what's the brightness on a display like that in nits? That one's a 300 nit brightness. 300 nits, okay. Yep. I think most people uh, are don't demand really high nits. I do because I find that my eyes focus better when I get more sure. bright light into my eyes. But a lot of people hate bright light into their eyes. So it's a, you know, please everybody, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm actually the same way. I usually turn the brightness all the way up on my monitors. Yeah. So what about in the 4K range? In the 4K range, one to really look at right now is what we call the VP2785-4K. Uh, um, that monitor is part of our VP lineup, which is our color professional monitors. Um, but even being a color professional monitor, it is under a thousand dollars and uh, full 4K resolution, uh, USB-C again with power delivery, um, USB ports. If you you know you want to connect keyboard and mouse directly to your monitor, you can do that as well. Or if you need somewhere to plug in a thumb drive, you've, you've got that right on the side. Um, and 4K, uh, full Adobe RGB and full. Uh, a DCI a P3 as well. So if you need to use it for video work, um, they like P3 wide color gamut for uh, uh, for Final Cut. So th that works really well on that monitor. Okay, so you're distinguishing here between the VX lineup and the VP lineup. The, the VX you said was was premium look and feel, um, but is that is that your lower priced options and the VP Correct. is the higher so priced stuff? Right. Those would be more um, your your home or your home office uh, monitors. Don't We don't ex uh, really include things like the ability to have factory color calibration on those. Everything is, you know, calibrated to the to the panel, but um, they're not, uh, you know, delta two or less in terms of color accuracy to the Adobe RGB space like you would get on a VP. Um, so they are a little bit different customer, but if you have a Mac user where this is their email and their Excel machine, you know, that's, that's where those monitors are really awesome. Okay. So the VX is for normal people. Yeah. Yeah. The VX is for normal people. It's reasonably priced. You can usually pick those up right around uh, $300. Okay. Do you have a, do you have a 4k version in the VX lineup? Uh, we do have some 4K offerings in the VX lineup. Uh, we have a, a 32 inch 4K that um, customers are, might want to check out. So we, we have uh, two of them that jump to mind would be um, VX3211 and VX3216. Those would be two 4K monitors to check out. Okay. And, so not 27 inch 4K, 27 inches 2K and 32 inches 4K? 
Uh, there are 27 inch 4K offerings. Um, I don't believe we have any in the VX right now. Okay. Okay. So if you want to go to 4K, that would be in the VP line. If 4K at 27 inches, you would go into the uh, into the VP lineup, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is this is pretty interesting. I like I like the everything about what you're saying. I like that you've got them in these different price points. You've got normal people stuff. You've got stuff for the high end video photographer, uh, color calibration, and the color gamut, and all those words I don't actually understand. Um, but the idea of USB-C to power the device, have it as a hub, um, that's that's what people, normal people really need and want right now. And I, I think that that's a, uh, that's a, a real, it, that's attractive to me as a Mac user. And I think that's probably attractive to my audience as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we have, uh, as of right now, there are 18 models with the USB-C that we offer to the market. So, um, and all of those power delivery would work perfectly on a MacBook. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. So um, to be honest, the names of these monitors don't quite roll off the tongue for me to be able yeah. to remember which one's which. Uh, where would people find uh, the USB-C monitors that you've been talking about today? Uh, I, be uh, I believe that, uh, well, actually, you know, we have a landing page uh, at ViewSonic.com. So even if you just Google a uh, ViewSonic USB-C, uh, that landing page should actually be one of the first results. And uh, we kind of show uh, towards the bottom of that page, we show tell you all the benefits of the USB-C that we implement. Um, and then towards the bottom, we give you like a breakout of, okay, here's the, here's the ones, here's the safe ones. So these are all the ones that have it. So. Oh, very good. Very good. Well, that sounds fantastic. So ViewSonic.com is how we go uh, learn more about these monitors and see what we need for, uh, I mean, Christmas is over, but I don't know, my birthday's coming up. You never know what's <laughs> going to happen, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Ray. This was fantastic. Thank you so much, Allison. Love being here.